According to the Uganda Health Demographic Survey 2006, of the 23% of women using contraceptives for birth control, 10% of them use injectable contraceptives. Last week, the WHO issued a statement following a review of existing data on hormonal contraception and HIV acquisition plus transmission. The statement strongly advises those at a high risk of catching HIV to also use condoms. There's that type of hormone called steroids. When they are in a big concentration in the body, they may affect the immunity slightly. Like people can get some more bleeding, tendencies of bleeding, which is usually short-lived. Or some of them actually may become not bleeding. They may not have uh, menstruation for quite long. Others may have some dryness. And all those are body, uh, physical factors that can enhance HIV transmission. Because, you know, if your pattern is dry during sex, there is increased chances of bruising because you, are, you don't have a small sway. And therefore, the bruises may create some wound that can result into HIV transmission and so on. Now, the international community of women living with HIV, whose husbands stand even a higher risk of acquiring HIV, demand that this recommendation be publicized. They also recommend that health workers pass on this message when prescribing injectable contraceptives. The women activists also call for a conclusive report. In addition to the injection, they could also be given condoms so that they are aware that they are controlling birth, but at the same time, they are also controlling infection. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Health, however, says it has now become fashionable for women to prefer injectable contraceptives. In the developed world, people may not have time for each other. People are engaged in a lot of work and maybe sex is not a primary issue. So the few people are quite disciplined and they can afford to use condoms persistently. Now, you find here, people may not stick on condoms. And the only choice they can choose usually is to make sure that they get the other hormones because they protect them. The ministry and WHO, however, insist that the reports on the rates of infection in women on injectable contraceptives is inconclusive and still under review. Irene Namialo, NTV Tonight.